Welcome back to the Expo Center. As we're about ready to get the starting lineup for the night's game, we'll send it over to the PA announcer. South Conference basketball action tonight is Community Trust Bank Night. We salute our U Pipe sponsors, Community Trust. Thank you for your support of the Bears. Let's meet today's starting lineups. First, representing our guest, the Phoenix of Cumberland University. Starting at guard at 5 7. From Nashville, Tennessee, number two, Jamela Leonard. At guard, a 5'10 junior from Bartlett, Tennessee, number five, Paris Watson. At guard, a 5'6 senior from Columbus, Ohio, number 21, Colin Codner Pinto. At forward, a six foot junior from Knoxville, Tennessee, number 34, Catherine Griffith. And at forward, a 5'11 freshman. From Mount Juliet, Tennessee, number 42, Dominique St. Louis, the Phoenix. Cumberland is led by head coach Scott Bloom. And now, the University of Pikeville Bears! Starting at guard, a 5'8 freshman from Madeira, Ohio, number 10, Mary Ingers. At forward, a 6 foot senior from Bedford, Kentucky, number 23, Emily Baker. At forward, a 5'10 junior from Lagos, Nigeria, number 24, Zora Odia. At forward, a 5'10 freshman from Williamsburg, Kentucky, number 30, Sierra Beltner. And at forward, a 6 foot 1 sophomore from Frankfort, Kentucky, number 52, Brianna Herbridge, the Bears. You bike is led by the coach, Clinton Williams. And there's the starting lineups there for the U Pike Bears and the Phoenix from Cumberland University out of Tennessee. And this will be another knockdown drag out as they all are to Mid South Conference. They are, the Phoenix come in with an overall record of five and 10. They're one and two in the conference. Uh, the Bears is 13 and six overall, two and one in the conference. That's where it counts the most. If the Phoenix ends up pulling the upset here tonight, with the Bears, then they'll be tied both at two and two in the conference. That's what counts the most, Tony. You're exactly right. You know, of course, Phoenix is coming off of a big win over Georgetown is what the Clifton Williams was telling us. So, you know, you never know. Well, you're, it's right. Uh, just as you said in the pregame when you was talking to uh, Coach Williams, you know, there's never an off night. You come into a Mid-South Conference game and you're looking at the records and not come in ready to play, you'll end up with a defeat. Yeah. St. Louis and Burbage. Jumping center, it'll be kicked in the back to Leonard for the Phoenix. Leonard now at midcourt with it. Man to man out there by the Bears. And they'll work it around, again back to Leonard. They try to go down inside and shot up and in is at uh, Griffith. Was it pretty? Nope. I mean, she dropped it about three times, but she picked it up, put it in the basket. She so. did. Pike with it. Out front with it they go. They go back now to Burbridge. Burbridge gives it up, and they go down inside, trying to go down low to Burbridge. She'll kick it back into the corner. There's a three that is no good. Rebound comes off to uh, Watson, and ball knocked away. It'll stay with the Phoenix. Emily Baker was all over and almost come up with the steal. Slow start. Uh, Bears didn't get anything good. Didn't get a good look on it that trip down. Tried to get it down inside, but it didn't do anything with it. Bears come into tonight's game averaging 9.8 steals a game, Charlie, almost 10 a game. And they do, they do bring the defensive pressure. Leonard has it out front now for the Phoenix. Guarded by Burbridge, and Burbridge kicks the ball. So it'll be, will they reset the shot clock to 15 seconds? Yes, that's the yep. right procedure. Yep. And Pike will. Defense comes out after, pretty tough. And they give it up at top of the key now to uh, St. Louis. There is Codner Pinto. She loses the ball, picked up in there by Odia, and she'll bring it down the floor and look, dribble it off her own foot. Did it hit a, uh, nope. Nope. Just as she was leaning in to make her cut to the bucket, uh, 
They're able to buy off yep. her foot, as yep. you said. Dora Odia just uh, looked, took her out. I don't know if took her out off the ball or what, but she just missed it. They try to go down inside again. Shot up, no good this time by Griffith. Rebound comes off to the Bears, and Feltner will bring it up the floor. She gives it to Odia. Odia takes it down the lane, and she gives it back outside. Loose ball picked up down underneath. There's a three by Odia. Nope. And rebound comes away to Griffith. Right now, the Phoenix dominating the boards. Yes, they are. Out front, they'll bring it up the floor. Leonard gives it up to Watson. She takes it in, shots up, and good. And it's a 4 nothing lead for the Phoenix. Both buckets coming right at the rim. Feltner in the front court. Pulls up just on the block, shot no good. Rebound comes off to Watson. And he'll come back up the floor quickly now with Leonard. There's an, I thought an Odia got a nice job getting down the paint to stop that drive. Yeah, she had to step out with some help defense. Pinto for three, and it's good. Condor Pinto been there for a while. Get the ball back out front. Pike will down there seven to nothing. Burbridge on the drive, and that'll be a foul on Griffith. That's a good move by Brianna Burbridge. Right. Yeah, they need to take it to the back. Of course, uh, Coach Williams uh, said in their last game, I think he said they had 50 or 52 points in the paint, and uh, that's what he liked to do. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense, of course. Also opens up that outside shot. It does. Well, Burbridge had a double-double the last two nights that they played, so free throw's good. They want to get it down in the herd. I think, I know... Uh, Baker had a double-double two games ago. I don't remember if she did last week or not. Right. At the free throw line. Shot is good. So 7-2 to two as Burbridge makes both free, free throws. And Burbridge with the steal. Takes it, lays it in, and could have possibly got by with the and one there, and they didn't call it. And comes up with the steal on the inbound pass, but she didn't reestablish herself inside and gets a warning for it. Okay. And it'll be Burbridge on the point of that defense. Got a 1-2-1-1 one, 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 full court well, nice pass. pass. I didn't see her coming up through there. She led the player perfectly. Uh, Pinto. Uh, that's a nice pass, but it's a dangerous yes, pass. Yes, it is. If they'd stepped out just a little sooner. Yep. Rebound comes off to Brianna Burbridge, and she'll try to bring it up the floor. It gives it back up to Englert. There's Feltner with it, takes it. And driving it inside, they'll go into the corner to Odia. Odia with a nice spin move by Odia and a foul. She got herself to the free throw line. Last two trips down, they got it inside and picked up a foul on Cumberland. Two fouls here in this first quarter as if you're listening in and you don't know uh, the rule changes, 10 minute quarters for the girls now and Five fouls put you in the uh, two shot uh, foul shots. No one of ones anymore in in uh, women's college basketball. Right. Both free throws are good. So Pike will on the board now makes it a one point game. Seven to six. Six thirty five to play here in the first half or first quarter. Quickly with it there is Watson. Pike will do a better job stopping dribble penetration. And we're going to get a foul. Englert will pick up her first foul, team's first. Cumberland trying to get it in on the baseline. They get it in to St. Louis. Back out to Watson. Cogner Pinto with a three, it's good. Boy, she's she, two of two now. She's been here long enough, you need to know where she's at. Yes. Quickly. Baker with a in. nice drive, what a nice block from behind by St. Louis. Bringing it up the floor again is Leonard. Leonard out top gives it up. That's uh, Griffith. Griffith wants to turn. A little arm bar there as she went to the basket. Might have scooted the pivot foot just yep. a little bit too. Cogner Pinto with it out front. This time bears honor. There's a three that's no good by Leonard, but the rebound put back up and in by Griffith. And it's 12-6. Phoenix, Odia takes it into the paint, spin move, good move, and a basket. You're not going to stop that. No, 
nothing you really do about it, is she it? She gets it in that deep, you let her get, it, get you on the dribble that far under the bucket. She's going to score or get fouled. Out front, they give it to Griffith. She's, and we're going to have a hold, looks like on Baker. And we have our first substitution. Let's see. 32 is Brittany Miller, a freshman from Nashville, Tennessee, for the Phoenix. And they get it in to St. Louis. Back out top, Watson. Lawson looking in the side, nothing there. Pike will, looks like he, they no, thought they went to a man to or into a zone. They did, haven't they? No, they're man to man. Oh, it is. Nice steal again by Burbridge. That's a couple for her. And Englert on the other end lays it up. Missed it. Rebound comes off to Baker. She puts it up. And she'll go to the line. Good hustle by Emily Baker following the play and was able to come up that rebound. Yes. Got to make those uh, open, open drives, though. Well, she's got a little bit of pressure yeah. on it, so we're going to have a timeout. It is going to be a full timeout. So we'll send it back to the station. It's 12-2, Cumberland over UPI. It's WPRG TV Sports. Welcome back to the Expo Center. 454 left here in this first quarter. It is 12 to 8, and Emily Baker is at the line to shoot two. John. And she makes one. It's now a three-point ball game, 12 to 9. Baker with one more free throw, trying to make it a two-point game here with 454 to play here in the first, and does. Pike will right now six of six from the line, Larry. G game of runs, Charlie. Yes. Uh, Phoenix open up 7-0 run. The Bears uh, cut it to one with a 6 Angler with the steal, near steal. Baker comes away with it, and we're going to get a tackle and, on St. Louis. And should have had that on the first call. Yeah. When Baker come up with it, she was tripped as she started down the floor. And that's the second foul on St. Louis. And it'll be Pikeville basketball. Emily Baker, or I mean Feltner out front with it. There's Odia. Odia gets it back out front. They'll work it around the horn, try to get a look. Englert goes inside to Baker. Baker down to Odia. Great trick. Nice spin game. on that. that. Nope. And a foul. Mia Greatrick, you're right, in the ball game. Haven't seen her much as of late. Of course, this first team we played that's actually got two bigs. Most of them have been running a, uh, you know, don't not been running a full, you know, four or five. They've been running mostly two threes. Right. And it'll be Odia back at the free throw line again. And the Bears remain perfect from the line, and it's tied at 12. Well, they've got 12 points on the board, eight of them from the foul line. And that is five team fouls, so it'll be two shots the rest of the quarter for Pikeville. Cumberland in the front court with it. Out front to Lawson. And illegal pick. Yes. Of course, now there won't be no shots on that. That's an offensive foul. Offensive foul. foul. And so Charlie, it's a good thing that the Bears is uh, uh, making hay at the foul line. Right now, they're only shooting 28% from the field. Right. Feltner with it. Back out to England to go down underneath. Baker, nice walk. Did she? Well, I don't know, but I knew that's what he's going to call. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I didn't think she walked myself, but you know, that's what I was thinking. You know. I, I didn't either, but. Quick as the whistle blew, and uh, she started her drive. He blew the whistle, so I, that's, that's the only thing it could have been, I thought. Well, you're right. What a nice drive. Missed the shot, fight for it, and it'll be picked up by Griffith. There's Comner Pinto, three and one. Yeah. That's her third three. You, and the foul is going to go against number two. Feltner, 30. Oh, is it Feltner? Yeah. I thought it might have been Baker. They was both fair, but. It's kind of hard. They got both the same build and the same hair up back in the bun, uh, ponytail, and that makes it hard to keep up. Right. And she completes four-point play, puts her team back up before. Feltner into the front court with it. 
Top of the key, looking to make her call over to Englert. Englert looking down inside Odia. Odia tried a oh, dangerous cross-court pass. Feltner with it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Feltner gives it up to Englert. Englert trying to dump it down low and missed on the turnaround in there. And it's Greatrix. Greatrix, yep. had, had worked and got really good position. Wasn't able to finish. Yep. Coming back on top by four on the four-point play. Cogner Pinto with it. And this time, Bears get a little more defense on it. Yeah, she was looking for that three. She was trying to get a screen set for yep. it. There's a drive and a basket for Watson. 18-12, another 6-0 run. And here comes Burbridge back off the bench. Gratrix on the baseline, gives it back out top. Engler inside to Baker. Odia on the baseline. Nice move, shot up, no good though. Rebound by Griffith, excuse me. And they'll bring it into the front court, slow it down. They've got the six point lead, 18 to 12, 213 to go here in the quarter. Cogner Pinto gives it up. There's a drive and a miss. Yep. Back the other way, Feltner bringing it up the floor. Feltner wants to give it up to Odia. Shot up and rolls off. Wow. Got every bit of the rim except what she needed. Well, almost uh, hung right on the rim, didn't it? Bringing the ball up the floor now is Leonard. Gives it out front to Griffith. Back out, it goes to Cogner Pinto. And she's open for another three. This one is no good. First miss of the night, wasn't it? First miss from the three-point line, you're right. Back in front court. Pull up, Engler, no good. Air ball. Air ball. 18-12, and Pikeville with some substitutions coming in at the next whistle. Into the front court again is Leonard. Watson back out front to Griffith. And a minute five to play here in the first quarter. And another miss inside by Griffith. Pikeville comes away with the rebound. They get it up to Odia. She goes inside, there's a turnaround and another nice move, she's got to finish. Boy, it's two right point blank that Greatrich has missed. Into the front court now, under 40 seconds to play in the, high, in the quarter. Leonard, Cogner Pinto. She's trying to come off that screen. Might have been another illegal screen there they missed, but shot up, no good. Rebound to Odia, she'll give it up. England and 23 seconds, will they play for one here? I think so. They're calling the play over from the sideline, Cloaks Cliff Williams. Go down to Baker. England three straight away is no good. Fight for it, and Baker, is she gonna be fouled or is she gonna be called for the no, foul? it's gonna go against the Phoenix. Number 32, Miller. Baker a chance to get points with the clock stopped with 3.3 to go here in the first quarter. Well, they've only got two field goals in the game. The other eight points has come from the foul line. And Baker getting everything situated here. Doing a little wardrobe work. Yes. Free throw, no good. First miss of the night for the Bears. And the sub sitting there for so long will get in for the final three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Reed checking in for Pikeville. Alex, Alexis Reed is a freshman from Maysville. Missed both of them. And that'll be the end of the first quarter, 18 to 12. University of the Cumberlands will be right back on Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back to the Expo Center, ready for second quarter action, 18-12. Cumberland over the Bears, and Charlie, they had a lid on the bucket in the first half. They have, they, they've had good looks. Yes. They've got the ball down where they wanted in the paint, just haven't been able to connect. Well, they've missed two or three in the paint, and then they've had some open outside shots, shot air ball. 
It'll be Reed with it out front for the Bears. Over to Feltner. Feltner back to Reed again. Looks like a 3-2 zone or a 1-2-2. 1-2-2. 1-2-2. You don't see it very often. No, you don't. Nice pass down on the baseline. And there's what you do with it when you get it down low by Gratkins. Well, she had a couple like at her in the first quarter. Wasn't able to convert them. Maybe by seeing that one go through the net, uh, that'll get her started. Well, sometimes that's what it takes, you know. Out front, they work the weave out front. Cogner Pinto on the drive. And I don't know how's that thought of walk. I don't know. Nope. You get two steps, and then you can. Uh, that last step can be a uh, jump step, but she done the jump step first. Yeah. It'll be 26, 2014. There you go down inside to Feltner. Feltner tries to give it up to Burbridge, and Burbridge will go to the line, and they'll call the foul on. Well, it'll be on the floor. It won't be shots. Yeah. I think okay. they just ran it. Yeah. yeah, ball. Vandalin, I guess it is. We have a 30-second timeout called by the Bears, 2014. Oh, it is now going to be a media timeout, 2014, with 8.46 to 8.56 to play in the first half on the Air Mountain Sports Network. We're back with 8.56 left here in this first half. It's 20 to 14. You pike trails, but they'll have the basketball coming out of the timeout, Charlie. Burbridge with it out front. Gives it back over now. Reed looking. Feltner trying to get it down inside to Burbridge. There. I think that zone's trying to deny her, you think? Yeah, it is. And boy, I think it looked like a pinball. Bringing it back up the floor. Valentin. Too many hands in there to try that pass. Yep. And Watson. Back out front. And Cogner Pinto. And she is on fire, Larry. Yes, she is. 15 points all from the three-point line. No, that's not true. She did have one layup. Had one four-point play, too. That's that's where she had the four-point play. Yep. That one might have been tipped, I believe. Feltner with the rebound. They'll get it back. Odious, her shot up from three is no good. The Bears are, I say, just cold from the field. Yes, they are. Getting good looks, taking good shots. Out front with it, Vandalin. Vandalin with it over on the right side, puts it on the floor. Cogner Pinto missed, yep, step back three, out of rhythm. And we have a foul on the shot or on the floor. On the floor, okay. Great chance. I was just going to ask that. My only question was on the floor or not. I mean, you know. I, I didn't see the foul. A uh, little bit inconsistent right now with the fish eating crew. Yes. It'll be University coming the ball. Cogner Pinto with the re layup. 17 now in the first half. She's outscored the Bears herself. Yep. Bears going to have to get something going on the offensive end here. Or make some decent stops one or the other, right? Right. Reed with it back out to Feltner. Goes to Baker. Baker looking back out to Feltner. Feltner sets for a three, and it's no good. Tapped around. Baker comes away with it. Shot up. No good. Baker another rebound. Forces this one up. No, but we got a foul. And the foul will be on... Number 20, who is, we got? Number 20 is uh, Maya Gaines. Okay. Free throw's good. I'm looking at some of the numbers here. 15% um, shooting for the Bears right now, yeah. Charlie. They've only got two field goals, and we've uh, played 13 minutes here in the first half. Baker back at the free throw line, makes this pair. They're fortunate to be only down nine. Yes. And it'll be Watson bringing it up the floor. Getting out rebound 18 to yeah. 12 also. That's, that's a big problem. 
Watson back to Vandalin. Vandalin with it again, puts it on the floor, drives, lays it in. Can't give up those easy baskets. No. 27 16. Reed with it out front. Trying to get a pick out front. Nothing there. They'll give it back out to Reed. Now they go to Burbridge down in the corner. Baker. Reed for three, and she didn't have much choice but shoot that one. And rebound comes away. They'll throw it ahead. Watson, and she'll be fouled by Reed. 27 16, 6 08 to play here in the half. Phoenix over the Bears. That's the third team foul against the Bears. Cumberland with four. A lot of whistles here in the first that's half. That's the second team foul on both teams, isn't it? Here in the quarter. Oh, yeah, second team yeah. foul, yeah. Timeouts, you got an idea that happened to me all the time. There's a drive. Cogner Pinto, she'll go to the free throw line. That's the third foul. That's the third foul. You, you were anticipating there. Right. right. Well, if Cogner Pinto could shoot free throws or not. not. The way the whistle's been blown his first half, it's not much of an anticipation. No. <laughs> Missed the free throw. Too, Too close. Too close. Odia checking into the ball game for the Bears. Second free throw good by Cogner Pinto. 28-16, 12-point lead now for the Phoenix. Burbridge goes inside, passes underneath. Baker with a nice reverse. 28-18, 10-point game now. Bears can get a stop, maybe get a chance to get it back into single digits again. Yeah, they, they need to pick their defense up. They know where Cogner Pinto's at, that's for sure. Yes. Burbridge. And that basket good by Watson. And another drive to the bucket, breaking wide open. I think she might have palmed it a little bit, though. Down in the corner to Baker. Cross court, it goes to Reed. Back out front, Odia. Odia on the drive. Can't finish, but gets the rebound, puts it up. Missed it again. Fight for it, gets her own rebound again, puts this one up, no good. Rebound Brianna Burbage, and she's fouled. Wow. Working hard on the board, just yeah. not getting it to fall. I mean, you know, like I say, it's like there's a lid on the basket, isn't it? It is. That's three fouls quickly on St. Louis. And that's not the St. Louis team, that's her name, it's St. Louis. Yeah, not, not Missouri. Yeah. If I like name, I'd had names of my kid Missouri, I would. <laughs> Come on. That would confuse everybody, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Burbridge can't make the free throw. She got one more coming. Second free throw is good. 30 to 19. And bringing the ball up the floor is Leonard. Give it to Cogner Pinto. Back out front to Leonard. There's a three straight away. No good. That was uh, Vandalin. Baker back the other way. Wants to put it on the floor. She'll back it back out to Reed. They're looking back out again to Reed. 420 to play here in the first half. Baker in the corner. Shot up and good. That's a two. Yes. Had her foot on the line. But the Bears back in single digits the first they, time they'll, they'll take it where it's two or three. Right. Just get to see one go yes. through from the outside. That may be the first outside shot they made, Larry. I think it is. Cogner Pinto drives and is fouled. What's your sh shot chart shows? Yep. Oh. Uh, dead. <laughs> Everything, all the shots have been right there on the blocks that they made, right there in under the basket. Right. That one hadn't shown up yet, so that's the only outside shot they've made. Cogner Pinto with 
19 points. 19 of the 31. Pretty obvious who they need to do yeah. pressure. Yeah, right. you need you need to, at halftime you need to introduce them. Right. Out front with it now again, Odia. Odia with it now looking. Gives it back now to Reed. Odia with it. Takes it in the paint. Nice move. Missed it. Boy, nice hands by Great Latham's in the ballgame. That one is put up and in by Odia. 31-28, or 23, sorry. Out front again with it is Vandalin. Down by eight. Down, down by eight. Cogner Pinto with it. Cogner Pinto gives it up. Vandalin on the drive. Boy, nice pass and an easy basket for Griffin. Yes, it was. Beautiful. Dia shot time. 33-23, 10-point game. 2.53 to go here in the first half. Reed. Odie, Odia, ball knocked loose that time. Reed picked up in the backcourt by Leonard. Back he goes to Cogner Pinto. Back to Leonard into the front court. Watson on the drive. If that went in, it would have been a miracle, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then a steal. Yep. Vandalin gets it back out front to Leonard. Leonard will reset it. Back out to Watson. Three second violation on Cogner Pinto. Yeah. Got down in the lane and was building a campfire. Yep. Hey, she didn't have to build one. She could just touch it. She's so hot right now. You're exactly right. You wouldn't have to rub two sticks together, would you? No, she wouldn't. Into the front court with it. They give it up to Odia. Back to Feltner. Odia looking inside. She'll get it in. Latham. Back out. Feltner. Kicks it over in the corner. Baker. Odia. On the drive. No. Rebound. Blocked in there by Cogner Pinto. What doesn't she do today? She's doing it all right now. Yep. Bring the ball up the floor again is Leonard. Out front, Leonard with it. Watson. And that's going to be a charge. Good job by Emily Baker. Yes. One that is, that's her specialty, actually, yes. is the defense and, uh, and rebounding. She'll give you sometimes a uh, double-digit scoring game, but... But so, that, that's her forte. Yep. If we have any more fouls here in this first half, we'll have two shots. Either way. Both teams will forward. Other than an offensive foul. Feltner will bring it into the front court. Top of the key. Kicks it down to Odia. Odia spins, takes it in the lane, back out top, Baker. Puts it on the floor, puts up the runner, no good. Gets her own rebound, though, back into Lou Latham, shot up, and good. Good hustle, Emily Baker. That's what you got to do when you're not hitting the ball. You got to hit shots, you got to hustle. Yes. Quickly back out top to Leonard. Vandalin. Might have been a moving pick there, too, Larry, because she never stopped. Never stopped. Leonard on the drive, misses it. Rebound Burbridge. Quickly up. Odia, shot. No good. Rebound. Watson, I mean, yeah, Watson. Back to Cogner Pinto over to Watson again. Baker watching her. Kicks it back out top and Leonard. About a three second difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Vandalin with it. Cogner Pinto, whoa, thought about it, missed it. Rebound comes off to Baker. Might have been partially blocked. Pitewell with a chance to get up a shot here at the end. Baker and be a foul on Watson. It'll be, two, it'll be two shots either way. Yeah, yeah, it's two she, shots. She tried to throw it up to draw the uh, two-shot foul, but that's five-team fouls, so it'll be two shots. I'll take it, though. You want to see that? Oh, yes. You want to see that? 
Yeah. And these big free throws, Charlie, uh, they've been down by 12. She makes these two. Uh, they most likely will go in the locker room only down six points. First one's good. 26-33. And as cold as they've been from the field, going down to the locker room uh, six points down would be, uh, be a, yeah, a be plus, be a bonus. This is the second one, but the rebound, Odia puts it up, no good. And that'll be the end of the first half, 33-26. Cumberland's on the Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome back to Expo Center. 33-26, that's a half. We're about ready to get the second half started. And Charlie would be interested to see what Coach Williams had to say to his team and how they respond to it. Didn't shoot the ball for very well at all, only 7 of 30 from You're right. the field in the first half, 23%. But at times, they seem not to have any energy, and at times they did. You know, the ebb and flow, you got to have that constant energy. Yeah, you do. Of course, Cumberland had energy on the other end, and uh, that's called Cotner Pinto. It was called Cotner Pinto. You're exactly right. She had 19 of the 33 points. We'll see how it goes here. It'll be about 20 seconds away from the tip here of the second half. You might have made a little run there toward the end. They was down 12 with six minutes to go, and they got that down to seven at the half. Looks like Cumberland will have the basketball to start this third quarter. That's what the arrow on the board says. And we're ready to go back to action now. Both teams get their final instructions from the sideline. I look for Pike to be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end, Larry. Of course, you know, when they were aggressive, they were able to get it down inside and get some good looks. Yeah. I thought at times they passed some outside shots up uh, trying to consciously work it down inside. Yeah. So uh, Coach Williams might have pointed that out to him here at half. We'll see how it goes. Yep, it'll be... Leonard with it, gives it up. And back into the ball game is St. Louis. And the shot's up and good. Let's see, that was uh, St. Louis. Yes, number 42, that's her first bucket. She was in foul trouble in the first half, had three fouls. That gets played very much. Yep. I with it on the other end. They look down inside. They get it in the corner. Baker back out front. Feltner with it. Go back now. Odia, what a nice drive on the baseline. It falls off, but she gets her own rebound. Back inside Burbridge. And it's called for Call the walk. And again, a wide open shot missed. 35-26, still a nine point game. They fire it in and Baker knocks it away. It'll stay with the Phoenix. They'll have it side out right there in front of their own bench. Down in the baseline they go with it to Griffith. Now they'll get it back out top again, rerun their offense. Over to Watson. And they throw it, well, it'll be tipped away. Yeah, it was kicked. Actually, uh, Burbage kicked it over to Odie, and she kicks it out of bounds, isn't yep. it? Yep. Double kick. Working on their soccer game. Yes. Codner Pinto shot up. No good this time. Baker with the rebound. And two one bar that time. They got that part right. Right. Quickly back the other way, Engler. Nice pass. And Burbridge can't make it. I mean, like I say, great looks. Right. I mean, you're point, and, point blank. I mean, three or four feet from the bucket. And Burbridge from that point, and that ball down there normally is basket. Boy, they give up. OD got beat that time. Yes. Back it by Watson. Watson had a couple drives in the first half. The same thing happened. Out front, Baker with it. Feltner with it, looking down inside, kicks it back out top to Baker. Englert goes down inside to Burbridge. Back to Englert. Cross court, dangerous pass. Feltner takes it inside, has it blocked. And the ball comes back out. And Burbridge with the steal on the other wind. Back with it. Pikeville comes into the front court. Englert goes down inside. Baker shot blocked. 
And it'll stay with Pikeville. Good block. Good block, yeah, yeah. no question. The Lady Bears continue to put it inside, trying to pick up a foul or get something down in the paint. Throw it over top now again to Feltner. Baker with it on the left side. Fires it across Odia. Burbridge, nice pass. Baker makes the basket. Beautiful ball movement that time by the Lady Bears. 37-28, nine-point game. 7.30 to play here in the third quarter. Cumberland looking down inside themselves. And Watson drive. Pike, well, Burbridge does a good job cutting her off, but they let uh, Griffith drive in the basket. Yes. 39-28. Cumberland back out from Engler. Over to Baker. Nice pass. Odia lays it in. Could have got Cogner Pinto for the foul, too. She tried to block it from behind. Looked like it might have been a little contact. 39-30. Low scoring game here. Cogner Pinto for three. This one's off. Maybe they, maybe that break cooled her off some. Yes. Five with a rebound, bringing it back the other way. Feltner takes it into the paint, gives it up to Englert. Cross court pass to Odia back out front. Baker back to Englert. Englert with a runner is good. That's one of the few baskets that they've got off the bounce. Yes. Seven-point game now, 39-32, 6.15 to play here in the third quarter. Griffith with it. She'll give it up. Cogner Pinto back to Griffith. 18-footer by Griffith is good. Boy, I tell you, left-handed. 41-32, oh nine-point game again. They give it back to Odia. They work it again, there's Englert feeling it. Three is in and out. Rebound comes down and ball's knocked loose and we're gonna get Englert for the foul. And that was an in anticipation whistle because she started to reach in, she jumped back and yep. uh, the- uh, He'd already blew his whistle. The player was already by her and he'd already blew his whistle. Anticipation. They've been a little off today. Bring the ball up, bring the ball up the floor is Walt Leonard. Bring it back out there is Leonard again with it. Picks it up, Watson. Boy, nice block in there that time by Adia. Two on one break for the Bears. Back it goes and Baker spins, puts it up. No, but she'll go to the line and Cogner Pinto will pick up a foul. That's gonna be her first. Yep. Team's first. And Baker first, just wasn't able to handle the pass or she'd right. have had a wide open layups, but she will get a chance to make two from the foul line. Try to get it down to a seven point game again here. She was four of six from the foul line in the first half. Yep, and misses this one. She's got one more. Taking her time, 41-32 game. Makes the second one, 41-33. And Latham will check back in for Pikeville. Going with two bigs in now. Well, they're trying to, you know, trying to figure out what what the uh, combination works here. It looks like right. Of course, Burbage could be a small forward, yeah. power forward, or a center. Yep. Yeah. Nice block by Latham, so she made her presence known immediately. Yes, she did. Back the other way, Feltner. Feltner. Tried to throw it inside and just threw it out of bounds. Yes. Forced the issue on that one. And tried, maybe trying too hard now, you think? Right. In the front court. Cogner Pinto with it. Watson. Watson spins. Burbridge all over. Could have been a five second call there. Close. Cogner Pinto with it out front and bombed it. You said she did that in the first half. Yep. We got a 
Got a media timeout, 437 to play here in the third, 41-33, Phoenix on the Intermountain Sports Network. 437 left here in the third quarter. It's 41-33, Cumberland with the eight-point lead, and the Lady Bears will have it coming out of the timeout, Charlie. See if they can make something happen here after the break. Well, they just, need, they just need to keep running their offense. Yeah. They, they've getting their shots they're looking for. They're just not being able to knock them down. Right. And usually they'll be sometime in the game that uh, they'll start falling for Bad it. pass, yep. Cogner Pinto takes it pass down inside. Watson missed. And that'll be four on St. Louis. Yep, over the back. And checking in for Pikeville is Reed at the point guard for Feltner. Only two team fouls for the Phoenix, only one for UPAC, so the whistles have slowed down as far as the fouls yeah. a little bit here in this third quarter. Yeah, the Bears need to hit some outside shots to loosen up that zone. Larry, look at them. Most of them got a foot in the paint. Well, the whole zone is inside the three-point Oh, yeah, there's a three by Baker. No good. Rebound comes off to Griffith. Of course, the Bears don't really have a uh, really good three-point shooter on the floor right now. Well, now Odia can shoot the three. I don't know about Reed. Let's see, nice defense. But you call that on Latham. That is a very late call. She got the ball. I, that was terrible. I was yep. looking down at my stat sheet. What the, what but when he blew the whistle, the ball was all the way out to the H in Appalachian, Larry. If you can't keep up no faster, you don't want to be out there. Right. It'll be Phoenix ball. Back out to Watson. Cogner Pinto goes back down inside, and there's a basket for uh, Miller, Brittany Miller. 43-33, 10-point game. We've got 318 to play. The Bears are going to do something soon. Yes. Latham, nice shot in the lane for two. And they gave her that open look. And that might be what they need, Charlie, is put a high-low post yep. put one at the free throw line so make the defense decide if they're going to guard up high or down low. That's true. Miller shot, rolls off. Odia with the rebound. She'll bring it up the floor. That looked like one of the Bears shots. Yeah. <laughs> All over the rim and just rolls off the side. Yep. Odia with it, looking, gives it inside. Latham, nice pass. Burbridge for the basket. That's two straight trips down. They done the uh, put the uh, center at the free throw line in the middle of the zone, and they've ended up with buckets from it. We've got a timeout, six-point game, 43-37. Phoenix with 2.30 to play here in the third on WPRG-TV. And we're back with 2.30 left here in the third quarter as UPAC has... Went on a 4-0 run and cut a 10-point lead down to six. And Cumberland's coach decided he was going to call a timeout. Charlie, as we was talking about when we was on the air before the timeout, Coach Williams made an adjustment on the offensive end. He's brought his center out to the free throw line. We're just inside the, the paint at the th free throw line. And in the middle of the zone, and, and he's ended up with two buckets. And... We'll see if Cumberland now makes a adjustment for that the next time they have the ball down the floor. We will find you're right. We'll see. Here it'll be Cumberland ball. Another big thing uh, here in this uh, third quarter, Codner Pinto has not scored. Had not hit right. at the half. Still uh, at that number. Codner Pinto with it out front. They get it back now. Watson. Latham did a good job defensively here, Larry. Yes, that was really good defense there. Watson puts it on the floor and stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds. That again, good defense. Latham just didn't give up that baseline, which is something we harp about a lot. Right. His defense does give up the baseline way too much. Yes. There's with the chance to cut in that six-point lead. Yes. This is close as they've been in a while. Reed with it. It's over Burbridge. Back out to Reed again. Odia, down in the corner. And they'll kick it back out to Reed, back over to Odia. Reed pulls up for a three, no. Rebound comes off. 
two. They, they need one of those to fall, John. Yep, Leonard Watson. Watson just walked, didn't she? Took two steps and put it on the floor. Yeah. Official not paying attention. Somebody missed her man. Uh, that was uh, Miller, and she ended up with a wide open layup. How do you with it? Goes down inside Latham. There it is again. This time it'll be U Pike ball as the ball blocked out of bounds on Baker's shot. Twenty gains checking into the ball game and uh, Vandalin. Vandalin, okay. Kick it in the corner, Reed for a three, and again, no good. Rebound comes off to Griffith. And like I said, they're good shots. Yeah. They're over from the three-point line yes. tonight. Baker with the near staff, she had to have the steal. Yes. 45-37. Baker. Puts it on the floor, back to Reed. Reed driving in the lane with a runner, good. Maybe that'll get her started. 45-39 now, 35 seconds left here in the first half, or third, third quarter. Cogner Pinto with it, and they're gonna try to go inside. Stolen away by Emily Baker. Baker. And Baker gonna take this one to the right. Oh, nice pass, Odie, and she'll be fouled. Foul will be on Mandolin. I tell you what, as many uh, steals as Emily's had, they might be calling the law enforcement in on her. Yeah. Because she's a, she's a thief yeah. here tonight. She <laughs> has been. Let's see, that makes, uh, according to the paper, makes three steals for her. I yep. thought she might have had more than that. She's got a lot of tips that uh, is led to steals by her teammates. Odia with it. Has it knocked loose? Ball might have been kicked. I don't know. And look at that. Vanlin comes up with the easy one. And it'll be Pikeville back the other way. Odia. Only six over. seconds on yeah, the clock. Right, get rid of us, get something here quickly. Ball, Baker. Baker shot up at the buzzer, is good. And it's 47 41 as we'll come back for fourth quarter action on the PRG TV. And we're back ready for fourth quarter action 47 41. You pick. You fight trails by six, cut the uh, halftime deficit down uh, by three that time, Charlie, but they've still got a ways to go. Yep, they got six points to go. Got a chance maybe to cut into it again here with the opening ball of the fourth quarter. Loose ball on the floor, and again, the loose ball, all the 50-50 balls are going to Cumberland. Yes. And there's another steal. Reed will bring it up the floor. She's going to take it all the way. I thought she was going to take it all the way to the rack, but nope. Underneath Burbridge, shot no good, but she'll be fouled. And that'll be on uh, Griffith, that's her third. Uh, yes. She's coming live here in this second half, too, yep, as she far has. as uh, scoring. Burbridge's free throw is good. She's got one more. Lawson checking back in. Burbridge back at the free throw line. Second shot is good. And it's a four point game, 47-43, Larry. Need a stop now. Yes, they do. Cogner Pinto puts it on the floor. And ball, they try to get it inside. Burbridge just tipped all over Burbridge. <laughs> Don't tread on me, huh? Yeah. There's a steal. And Reed. And no foul called. Odia misses the re the put back, and it'll go back to Pikeville. How do you not call that foul either? Well, I, how do you miss the wide open right, shot exactly. too? Yeah. They've got their shooting percentage up. Uh, they're shooting 46% here in this second half, and that just brings the game total up to 31%. Yeah. Three out of there by Burbridge, I believe it was, and we're going to have a jump ball. And that's going to yep. go to the Phoenix. You fight now, Charlie, 0 of 10 from the three-point line. Let's see if they can get a, something going in the backcourt here with a trap. 
And we're going to get a walk. Yep. It'll be U Pike ball. I like the look. Yeah. Cumberland's coach. That, that he, was, it he was did, incredible. He didn't say anything. He just froze in time. <laughs> it was just that incre incredible. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. I can't believe it. Like, what? <laughs> Upike has the lead down to four, Charlie, with the chance to cut into that. Yes, they do. Let's see what they can do. They get it out front. Reed, Odia. They have not led in the game tonight, so no. be interesting to see. Baker how. with the reverse, and no. Gets her own rebound, shot up, no. And no fouls called. Well, there's, a, there's another steal. Odia, runner in the lane, no, Burbage. Yes. <laughs> Got it. And the lead's down to two, 47-45. See what the Bears can do here. Out front with it is Cogner Pinto. That's charge. <laughs> well, she didn't lower her shoulder, I don't think. No. Uh, yeah, she did. She put her forearm in on it. Looks like it's up here. She bodied her out of the way to she, back the stop. She, she, just, she just made contact, got Baker to take the step back, and then she stepped back. Three, no good. Again. Yep. 49-45. Four-point game. 7.46 to play. Watson steps through the double team. They'll get it out. Cogner Pinto, three on the air is no good. Rebound, Latham. Bodies fly everywhere. He is. He oh, he is. Pick it up now. Back out to Reed. Reed with it out front goes to Baker. Odia. Call for the walk. And we see we got another substitution coming in. We got uh, St. Louis checking back into the ball game. Also Englert for Pikeman. Right. England come in tonight's game, Charlie, averaging 12 points. She has two. She was their only uh, yep. double-figure uh, scorer. Yeah, Pike will bring in the pressure in the backcourt. And they'll throw it in quickly to St. Louis. There's Watson with it. Watson. We're on the left side. Watson with the drive in the basket. Had a mismatch there with Reed, took advantage of it. Right. She just beat Reed to the baseline. Reed was step slow. If she had been a step faster, then she had the baseline cut there's out. There's Latham, and she'll be fouled. And that will be it for St. Louis. Yes. Fouls out with two points. Come into the game averaging six points a game. Two, two team fouls now for Cumberland here in this fourth quarter. Uh, UPAC has not picked one up yet. Yep. Latham at the line makes the first one. They're all big now, Charlie. Back to a five-point game. They've shot very well from the line tonight. That, there are 14 of them at 19 right now. Got one more coming her way here. And that one's good. Four-point game, 51-47, 6.45 to play. Englert, Watson going to try to take it to the rack here. And does and makes it. Boy, split nope. or double team. Huh? Split yeah. or double team. She has been their best player today as far as taking it to the bucket. Boy, nice passing that time for Baker to get it easy too. Yes. 53-49, still a four-point game. See if they can get a trap in the backcourt here. That's been pretty good for them tonight. And Baker trying to get the steal. Watson on the other end. And what are we going to get? A block. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I think, I think I go, what bothers me about it is Watson's out of control. Right. You know. Get it. Cogner Pinto. Look a little, <laughs> look a little hot, didn't she? 
If you're a baker, you don't back off her even when she don't have the back. That's right. Try to go down inside. I'm shot up and good. I'll have she, that just had the whole English on that, but he rolled right over the rim. That, that's a good pick and roll. They uh, got the switch. They won't even had the mismatch. Engler, Reed, back in the corner to Baker. Engler at the elbow. Shot is good. Need to get her started. Yep, 55-51. 5.25 to play. And again, trying to get the steal. Boy, nice recovery back on Watson, though. And Burbridge with the near steal. Got to give them credit. They're bringing the intensity right now. Yeah, they got what they wanted. They just wasn't able to get the uh, the steal. They'll get it out front to Lawson. Or Leonard, I'm sorry. Ball knocked away. 5-10 to play here. Four-point game, 53-49. Miller to Cogner Pinto. Call for the screen. Pinto back now to Watson. Watson with the, the drive. Ball knocked loose, and Pottwell comes away with it. Quickly up to Englert, and Englert misses it, and, but we're going to have a foul. Just can't get one to no. roll. Was it that much contact? There was a foul, but usually you can see them play through that contact. Yes. And we're going to have a media timeout, 452 left. You pipe trails before 55 51. They'll be at the free throw line for two when we return this WPRG TV Sports. We're back here at the Expo Center, 452 left in the ball game. UPOC has never led. They travel forward 55-52. But Mary England is at the line to shoot two free throws. And if they can get it down to two, Charlie, that would be the closest they've been since the first bucket yes. of the game. You're right. Three-point game now, 4.52 to go. Keep chipping away. Early, early since they've been down to only one possession. And that's where we're at. 55-53. And the defense is really what brought oh, them yes. They put a lot of pressure, created some turnovers here in this fourth quarter. Cogner Pinto gets it back now to Leonard. Of course, no 10 second call in women's basketball. Right. Shot no good, rebound Burbridge, and she'll get it out to Englert again. Englert will take it all the way. Shot up and good, and the Bears are tied in at 55. And that's the first time it's been tied since 0-0. Zero, zero. You're correct. There's the double team. They get it in the front court to Leonard. And Cogner Pinto, oh, nice block by Latham, and she goes and gets the loose ball. And that was the best part about it. Didn't block it out of bounds. Went to get it. Englert in the corner. Back inside to Latham. Back out Reed for three, and it's no. Bears cannot buy a tray. They're 0 for, 0 for 12. Might that, have took that. There's a two that is no good. And... Be a foul on Griffith. That's going to be her fourth. I don't know if she got her in the head, but she definitely got her in that hairdo. And you also have Miller on the floor with four, and they've already had one foul out. Yep. And another thing, that's four team fouls, so it'll be two shots from here on out for you, Pike. And only one on the Bears. Right. Into the front court with it, England. Just keep working that. High low up there here. There he is. And basket. Bears have their first lead of the night. It comes with 335 to play in the ball game. And see how Phoenix responds now. The first time they, as you said, Charlie, been behind. And they've been up as much as 12 points throughout this game. So see how they respond. I like the fight and grid in this bunch. Yes. They're a grinder. Yes. And the backcourt with it, Leonard. She'll bring it up. They'll try to double team her at midcourt, triple team her at midcourt. And Cogner Pinto out of the corner. No. And you'd have seen that in the first half. It would have been a swish, wouldn't it? Right. Baker. 
Gives it back. Burbridge shot up. Good. And the Bears up by four. Their largest lead of the night with 3.09 to play. And got a timeout. It's going to be a full. So New Pike has come all the way back. Lead by four with 3.08 to go. New Pike basketball on WPRG TV Sports. 3.08 is all that's left as the Bears has rallied from 12 down and lead by four, 59-55. Cumberland will have it, bring the lead to the floor, Charlie. Jimmy Valvano, never, ever give up. Don't ever give up. One of the great speeches. Yes. Not only in sports, but just of all time. Into the front court with it. Watson for the Phoenix. Back out front to Leonard. They give it up to Cogner Pinto now at top of the key. That's who they're going to look for, I think. There's Watson. Of course, Watson's been pretty good on the drive. Yep. And we're going to get a blocking foul, looks like, on Engler. No, on Baker. Latham. Reach in. Baker, okay. And she didn't think she did, and I didn't either. I thought, uh, just uh, like you, if he's a foul there, it would be in Engler. Yep. And they throw it out of bounds. The pike will ball. Got them rattled right now. Yeah, they do. Thought they, had, thought they had a win and were cruising, and they, they put the cruise control on too early. Yes. Or the Bears just turned up the heat a little bit. Well, that's both, I think. Latham at the free throw line. Back out to Englert. Go down to Latham now. Latham, a little turnaround hook is good. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to make it. Those shots that wasn't falling now, Charlie, is going in now. Yep. Back out top, Leonard. Six-point lead for the Bears. Burbridge with the foul. Thought she had a good block. It's amazing to sit and watch the team miss after miss, and you see a couple go in, and the same shots are missing. Now they don't miss. Vandal at the free throw line, you're correct. Shooting two. So what does that tell you? It's all in confidence. Yep. Vandal makes the first shot. She's got one more. 61-56, Bears by five. 2.18 to play in the contest. Second free throw is good. And we're back to a four-point game. Engler will bring it into the front court. Nice ball handled. Dingler's going to take it all the way in. Shot up. No, but she's going to be fouled. And it's before the shot, but yep. it will be two shots yep. as that's five team fouls. Vandalin's her first foul. She's two of two from the line. Free throw's good. Got one more. And makes a move. Yes, she did. 63-57. Vandal now will try to drive. Gets it back out. Cogner Pinto. Shot up and good. Got that shooter's roll, didn't she? Yep. Cuts the lead in a half. Timeout called by... The Bears, it's a 30. We'll stay right here with it. 63-60, a three-point game with a minute 51 to play. Looks like Baker might be cramping up a little bit, Charlie. She's hobbling, yeah. She made a stab at the ball uh, and missed it and, and allowed Contra uh, Pinto to become open and uh, make that three-pointer. She's cooled off some here in yep. St. Ab. Had 19 points at the half. He's got 24 now, so... Only five points here in the second half, but she is the most dangerous shooter that they have right oh, now. Oh, there's no question about that. Let's see, looking at some numbers. Uh, turnovers, Pike was forced 20 turnovers on the uh, Phoenix and only turned it over 10 times themselves. And points off turnover, 18-11 in favor of the Bears. And they only had uh, nine at the half. So that's 11 turnovers here in the second half. Englert will give it back out top to Reed. 
Reed dribbling around back out to Englert. Odia back out to Englert again. Bears have to Eight go seconds. Yeah, they're the running end. out of time. Englert takes it to the rack, lays it in. Worked around and come open. Tell you what, she's come alive here at the right time, hasn't she? She has. Watson will take it into the lane, shot up, and good. And she's been good on the drive tonight, Charlie. She has. She's got 14 points. Most of them's come off the drive. Oh, dear. Get it back out to Latham Pikeville. One minute to go. Bears leading by three, 65-62. Down in the corner, Englert. And she loses it. Got hit. Yeah, no call. There's Codner Pinto for three. It's no good, but the rebound run down by the Phoenix. Codner Pinto again with it. Puts it on the floor, drives. And I hate, up. That's a, they're going to call it a foul, but I hate the call because when you do this, when you throw your shoulder into the players, you go up for the shot. Why is that not a, why do you call, that should be a no call to me. 95% of the time they get that. Oh, they do, but so, it should, but it shouldn't be a foul because she initiated the contact. Right. That's, but that's something you got to learn to play with. I it's know. The free throw. Mid, yep. Thirty-four seconds left. Don't mean I gotta lock it though. Right. <laughs> Thirty-four seconds left, though. A four-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. So. Bears good. Have, to have good ball security. Down two. two. Yep. Two-point game. And we're going to foul quickly on Cogner Pinto. That's going to be her second. Yep. And Englert going to the line, and she's 4-4. Four four. Never know, though. You never 32 know. seconds. Need one, at least. Yeah. And she is the first one. Had two points in the first half. She's at standing at 13 right now. Yep. So she did make her, her average coming into the game and rose both Makes of them. Makes them both, in. yep. Four-point game. Two possession. There's a shot up and no good. Rebound Latham. And she'll be fouled. If you hit your free throws there, you got it. Yes. They're up by four right now. If you hit these two, they put you up by six. You got to have ball security and make your free throws. And that's five fouls on. That was uh, Miller. Miller. That's the second player for the Phoenix that is fouled out. So we'll see if the Bears can hit their free throws down the stretch. Free throw by Latham is good. 67-63 makes it a two-possession game. 68. 68, yeah, okay, didn't have it up yet. Makes it a two-possession game. And this one makes it a two-possession game, but it got to be both threes. We have a timeout on the floor. And what we got here, a... 30 seconds. 30, I guess he's, there it is. Oh, it looked like he was bringing the, they had, had to land that uh, plane first. <laughs> yeah, he, he was giving some pretty good signals, wasn't he? Yeah. Looked like he's bringing him into the tarmac there, you know. To, yeah. <laughs> 21.9 seconds. This was not over, folks. No, Six point not. lead. Cogner Pinto can uh, erase that in a hurry, can't you? Yes, she can. I think you still see a little pressure in the backcourt uh, by the Bears. And you see the Bears men down here in the corner warming up, getting ready for action here in just about 20 minutes and 22 seconds, maybe. Probably a little longer than that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have some fouls from here. Yeah. yeah. It'll take a couple minutes to get that 21 seconds off, I'd say. And they're... They get it in, and nice pass. Cogner Pinto with the two-point basket. Yeah. And it'll be Burbridge bringing it up the floor, and she's going to call a walk. 
I thought I had a reach in foul there to cause her to walk. I, well, I thought he blew the whistle before she picked her dribble up. Didn't see that. I didn't either. Of course, there's been a lot of we ain't seen tonight. <laughs> that they've seen. Yep. Cogner Pinto, a deep three is no good. It is going to be rebounded and put back in, no by Watson. Two-point game, 6.8 seconds left. And the Bears have got to either, they got to get to the free throw line now. Right. Just as we said, Charlie, they got, you talking about making free throws. You have to have ball security, and then they got called the walk, the turnover. That's what hurt. If it uh, hadn't been a turnover, then they'd have had to foul, and we'd have been going to the line to shoot. You're right. And they have no timeouts left. You back with two, so yeah. something happens that they can't get it in to avoid the five second count, they can call a timeout. Right. Well, you know, right now they need a basket, and a basket would probably, uh, two points would probably win this one. Oh yeah, if, if they can make it to the free throw line, get the ball in and go to the line, make two, uh, it pretty well be over. And we got a, another timeout. It's going to be a 30-second by Coach Williams. He's drawing up his inbounds for the play. Well, let's see what they were going, what personnel they were going to bring back, I guess. Right. Lady Bears standing at 13 and 6 on the season, two and one in the conference, and the uh, got a little love showed to them this week, Charlie. First time in over a year that they've had uh, some votes as far as the top 25 team. I think actually they're ranked at number 33, but they received votes, and that's the first time in over a year they, yep. they've had that. And here we go. Bears trying to get it inbounds, and they'll get it out top to Odia, and she'll be fouled. So Dora Odia will go to the line for the Bears. Needs one badly. Yes. Two would just about ensure a win. Dora's first one is good. 76% shooter on the season. 70-67, Pike will 5.8 to play. This is the big one right here, Charlie. Makes them both. That could do it. 71-67, make them bring the ball up the floor. Don't give them an easy shot. There's a three, and I believe it was blocked. And that'll be the ball game. 71-67, UPI. Nice character win that time for UPI as they was down 12 for most of the game and was able to come back and pull off the big win. So we'll send it back to the station for a short break and be right back as Charlie's trying to get the post game with Coach Williams. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. We're back here at the East Kentucky Expo in the fourth uh, Williams and what a ball game. Look, we knew we were going to get it. It's a typical Mid-South Conference ball game, right? They came in here hungry. They just had their first win, and they made us earn it tonight. They really did. They did. I thought Cardinal Pinto shot the lot down the first half. She makes some adjustments to help them. Other than we needed a guard it better. No, we really didn't. Um, we talked about base gardener and doing some different things, but, I mean, she was so hot in the first half, I took the gamble on her cooling off, and she did. She only had six, I believe, in the second half. I like the grittiness out of this match. Hey, we dug down deep because it didn't look like we had the energy, right? We started slow. I felt like we started flat, but we really picked it up in the second half. I thought, so I thought your defense was really the key to the game because shots weren't fall, falling. And, and when you have that adversity, you've got to be able to get stops, and you have to keep your energy up to do it. And the second half was um, 180 degrees from the first half. It really was. And Mary Ingles started hitting a few shots down the end to really kind of pull you up. You know, when, when freshmen are playing in big games like this, it's like you've got to help them build their confidence some. And she came out early, and she was struggling, and she was in foul trouble, and Pinto was hitting shots on her. And she really let that go, and she got it going in the second half. She did a really good job. Thanks, Larry. You've got a big win, Cliff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coach Cliff Williams of the Utah Bears. I'll send it back to you, Larry. All right. Thank you, Charlie. And we'll go over some final stats while we're on the air here for this game. First four 
Uh, Cumberland, they were 28 of uh, 56 from the field for 50%, 5 of 16 from three-point line for 31%, and 6 of 9 from the foul line, 66%. They had 28 rebounds, 5 on the offensive end, had 8 assists, turned it over 20 times, had 11 of those turnovers in the second half, 2 blocks and 6 steals. They were led in scoring by... Carla Contra Pinto, she was the leading scorer in the game with 27 points, 16 points for Watson, 10 for Griffith, two points for St. Louis, and six points each for Miller and Banlin for a total of 67 points. For UPAC, they placed five players in double figures, very balanced scoring for the Bears. Uh, Brianna Burbage had 16 at 15 for Emily Baker, 14 for Mary Englert, uh, see also six or excuse me ten points for Latham had uh, 12 points for Odia and two points each for Reed and Gratrix. U Pike was 22 of 61 from the field for 36 percent. They picked that up in the second half. They had 48 percent only shot 23 percent in the first half. They were over from the three point line 0 of 12. So they pulled this one out at the free throw line and down in the paint. They were 27 of 32 from the foul line, outscoring uh, Cumberland's by 21 at the foul line. They had 40 total rebounds, 17 offensive and 23 defensive rebounds. They had 12 assists, turned it over 12 times, had five blocks and 11 uh, steals, and also, like to mention, Emily Baker with 10 rebounds, so she had a double-double. The Bears, <coughs> largest lead of the game was by six and that was 232 left in the game. Cumberland's led by 12 in the second period at 604 mark. We were tied two times and had one lead change. So the Bears will improve their record to 14 and six on the season, three and one in the conference. The Phoenix falls to five and 11, one and three in the conference. So a big win. 71 to 67 for the Lady Bears. So we'll send it back to the station and be back shortly for the second game tonight as will be the New Pike and Cumberland men's. This is WPRG TV Sports. <laughs> 